The Simple Science of Weight Loss Think of your body like a bank account where calories are the currency. Every calorie you eat is like depositing money, and every calorie you burn is like spending money. Just like you want to have more money coming in than going out to save money, you need to burn more calories than you consume to lose weight. Popular Diets and Myths You might have heard of diets like the Wonder 10-Day Diet, claims that you can burn away fat while you sleep, or the latest diet pills that promise easy weight loss. Diets like the Paleo Diet, Ketogenic, Keto, Diet, and others often get a lot of attention for quick results. Despite the hype, the basic rule of weight loss doesn't change. You need to use up more calories than you consume. It doesn't matter if the diet is branded as a special program or uses fancy terms. Effective weight loss comes down to managing calories effectively. Understanding Calories and Their Sources What are calories? Calories are the energy that comes from the food you eat. The body stores calories in fat, and if you eat more calories than you burn, you'll gain weight. To lose weight, you need to either eat fewer calories or burn more by being active. Burning calories through exercise or other activities helps decrease the amount of stored fat, which leads to weight loss. How your body uses calories. Burning calories for daily functions. Calories are a form of energy used by your body for all its activities. While exercise is a common way to burn calories, your body also uses them for basic functions. This includes making your heart beat, breathing, and digesting food. Even when you're sleeping, your body burns calories to keep these essential processes going. This rate of burning calories at rest is known as the basal metabolic rate, BMR. Calculating your basal metabolic rate, BMR. Everyone's BMR is different and depends on factors like height, weight, and muscle mass. There are online calculators to help you find out your BMR. For example, a 28-year-old person who is 186 centimeters tall and weighs 80 kilograms would have a BMR of about 1,828 calories per day. This means they'll burn this many calories daily without doing anything extra. The thermic effect of food. How food can help burn calories. When you eat, your body doesn't just absorb calories. It also burns them during digestion. This is called the thermic effect of food, TEF. Foods like whole grains, protein-rich foods, dairy, eggs, and high-fiber vegetables have a higher TEF, meaning your body burns more calories to process them. This can make it hard to gain weight when eating these foods. Myths about negative calorie foods. Some people think that certain foods can provide negative calories, where the body burns more calories digesting them than the food provides. This is a myth. While the TEF can be significant, it never exceeds 100% of the calorie content of the food. The highest TEF is about 30%, typically found in proteins. So, if you eat 100 calories of protein, you might use up about 30 calories to digest it, netting 70 calories. The role of exercise in weight loss. You might wonder why to exercise if eating below your BMR leads to weight loss. Theoretically, consuming fewer calories than your BMR would result in weight loss, but this approach can be harmful. It can disrupt your hormonal balance, make you tired, irritable, and impact your ability to focus on work or studies. Exercise helps maintain a healthy balance while managing weight. The brain's role in calorie consumption. Did you know that the brain is the part of the body that uses the most calories? It consumes about 20% of your total energy. This high usage makes it hard for people to control their eating habits. When people eat less to lose weight, they often feel weak and moody. This can make them give up on their diet and start eating too much again. The goal shouldn't just be to lose weight, but to lose it in a healthy way. To achieve healthy weight loss, four main things are crucial. Controlled diet, regular exercise, enough sleep, and stress management. If you struggle with getting enough sleep or managing stress, it might mean you need to improve how you manage your time. Understanding diet control. Why you feel hungry after eating. Ever notice that you're still hungry after eating something like a chocolate bar? That's because not all foods fill you up the same way. This is measured by something called the satiety index. For example, boiled potatoes are very filling compared to other foods, which is why they have a high satiety score. Foods like pulses, high fiber foods, low fat dairy products, eggs, and nuts also keep you feeling full longer. Eating right not less. It's not just about eating less but eating right. Restrictive diets like those only allowing boiled potatoes or extreme low-carb or low-fat diets aren't effective or healthy in the long run. 
A balanced diet that includes necessary proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water is essential. Debunking Diet Myths The truth about carbs and fats. Carbohydrates are often seen as the enemy in weight loss, but they're a crucial energy source for the body. The body stores excess carbs as fat only if they're not used, which is similar to how other nutrients are handled. Studies show that neither low-carb nor high-carb diets are superior for weight loss. It really comes down to calorie deficit, spending more calories than you consume. In summary, successful weight loss involves understanding how different foods impact your body, managing your calorie intake, maintaining a balanced diet, and leading a lifestyle that supports physical and mental health. High-Protein Diets for Weight Loss Some people choose high-protein diets to avoid gaining weight from fats or carbs. They believe that eating only protein will increase muscle mass without adding fat. It's true that proteins are important for muscle building and repair, especially if you are active or do strength training. However, if you are not very active, excess protein can also turn into fat. The Myth of Low-Carb Diets and Water Weight Temporary Weight Loss on Low-Carb Diets some believe that low-carb diets like keto are effective for long-term weight loss. However, when you cut carbs drastically, the initial weight loss is often just water. This is because carbs help retain water in the body. When you reintroduce carbs, the water weight typically comes back. Health Risks of Extreme Carb Restriction Research on Low-Carb Diets A study by Dr. Sarah Seidelman, published in the Lancet Public Health Journal, followed 15,400 people over six years. It found that diets low in carbs but high in animal protein could shorten lifespan. In contrast, replacing animal protein with plant-based protein and fats might be beneficial. The importance of balanced diets, balancing carbs, proteins, and fats. It's crucial to have a balanced diet for healthy weight loss. Completely cutting out carbs can lead to mental health issues like depression and anxiety because carbs are important for brain function. Healthy carbs, which are absorbed slowly by the body, do not spike blood sugar levels and provide a steady source of energy. Examples include whole grains, fruits, and starchy vegetables. How to balance your diet The acceptable macronutrient distribution ranges AMDR, suggest that 45-65% to of your daily calories should come from carbohydrates. 20 to 35% from fats, and 10 to 35% from protein. The right balance depends on your lifestyle, health goals, and food preferences. Consulting with a dietitian can help tailor a diet plan to your needs, but for most people not facing health issues, staying within these ranges is advisable for maintaining health. What should you eat? Choose whole grains and complex carbohydrates. Instead of just sticking to wheat and rice, try a variety of grains like corn, oats, barley, Ragi, finger millet, buckwheat, kutu, amaranth, chow lai, or pearl millet, bajra. You can eat these grains as flatbreads, roti, or in porridge form. Include legumes and protein sources. Eat different types of legumes like chickpeas, chana, and lentils which are excellent sources of fiber and protein. Add more nutrient-rich foods to your meals such as kidney beans, rajma, chickpeas, chol, soy protein, soya chunks, and gram flour satu, nuts like peanuts, walnuts, and seeds like pumpkin, chia, and flax are also great additions. Don't forget dairy. Dairy products like milk, curd, yogurt, and cottage cheese, painter, provide healthy fats but should be consumed in moderation. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. They are crucial for a balanced diet, providing essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that help maintain healthy skin and overall body function. Common Diet Mistakes Misconceptions about balanced eating Many people think they are eating a balanced diet when they are not. For example, it's common in North India to eat several rotis with only a small serving of vegetables, which is too high in carbs and too low in other nutrients. Try to balance each meal with a good proportion of vegetables to ensure you get enough vitamins and minerals. Budget-friendly healthy eating tips Instead of spending a lot of money on fast food, invest in vegetables and fruits. Don't cut corners by paying less to vendors who offer fresh produce. If cooking seems like a chore, consider hiring help which can be both economical and healthier than relying on food delivery services. Thanks for watching.